Hey guys, welcome back to The Voip guys. Um, as we talked about at the end of our last episode where we did the dirty sort of poor man's quick hack to <laughs> <laughs> dynamic log dynamically logging in and out of queues, uh, we're gonna start on the, yeah, quite, almost sort of professionalization of dynamic mm -hmm. queue members, but that is a bit more complicated. Yes, we have to invent some new concepts in the next um, tutorials. Okay. Um, the first concept we want to visit at is the asterisk database. Right. You can use it for thousands different things. Okay. Um, we will use it at the end for our dynamic login. Okay, <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but I think it's time now to learn something about the asterisk database in okay. common. And then we will integrate it in our diet plan. Right, okay. Well, guys, if you don't want to do all of this, just go download Moby Dick, it does it automatically for you. <laughs> yep. Yes. <laughs> right. But, Matthias, take it away. Yeah. <laughs> um, we go to the Asterisk console, as always. And there is something which is called the Asterisk database. You can access the Asterisk database by typing database. And then there are some commands, which is show, basically, to show the database. Um, you can see some stuff in there uh, already. I can make the screen a little bit wider. Maybe it fits then. Yes, now it fits all in one line. So you can see it better. Um, in the database, this is a key value database. Mm -hmm. Here on the left hand, you have the key and on the other hand the value. Those are keys and values which are automatically generated by asterisk uh -huh. because we used it and here you can see the queue persistent member support. We can see that James is a dynamic member but he stores that he is now a member. If I restart asterisk uh -huh. then I just can log him in again. Right. So things like this. But we have to discuss how does the database work. First thing um, you need to know about the database, it is stored when asterisk stops. Right, okay. And recovered when asterisk starts. Okay, so there's always a sort of a permanent ongoing record. Yeah, it's persistent. Yeah. And um, that's very useful for you because you can switch things around in the database or add your entries. Uh -huh. And then there are, again, in the database if right. you start asterisk. So basically they store it in a file. Uh -huh. Um, and um, you can use it and you can even copy it to another asterisk instance, just the file. Okay. And then you can move the database or you can back up even the database, the asterisk database. That's quite handy. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if you want to. Um, first thing is to explain how to add something to the database and remove something to the okay. database. Mm -hmm. So that's very easy. You can say things like database, put, if you want to put something in there. For sure you can do this in the dial plan, but we mm -hmm. do it on the asterisk C light just to show you the concept. If you press return, you get the usage, uh -huh. put family key value. Right. Was, was the, what does that mean? We just tried database, put family, our company name is the family. Um, the key is James and the value is OK. So let's see what happens. It says worked. And now you can see the following. Slash family uh -huh. slash James is OK. So if I add another one. It just stores it under the same family. Uh -huh. So why do you need things like this? Because you can delete a complete family. <laughs> uh -huh. You can kill a family <laughs> okay. if you want to. <laughs> um, so you can say something like data base delete tree. And then you can delete the family. And then you end up with a bad family. <laughs> oh. 
Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay, so you got the concept. The family is to group things. Right, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. So family pass come and all the entries. Mm -hmm. You can even have a deeper, uh, um, a, a deeper um, family or more families. Um, you just can add them like this. Then the family is slash pass come slash test. Right, gotcha. Mm -hmm. um, this is the key, and OK is the value. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can extend it. Yeah. Um, but that's it, basically. You can put in their families um, some keys and the values. Um, the next thing is um, that would be worthless if you cannot do anything with those values. Of course, yeah. So you can check those values. Uh -huh. and keys from the dial plan. Ah. Um, therefore, you need another concept we have to talk about. This is functions. Right. We, told about, we talked about applications already. You uh -huh. have an application for everything and you have a function for everything. Okay. So, let's see what the functions are doing. I can only um, give a basic overview now. We go in depth uh, in one of the next tutorials. But you can see core show functions, like core show applications, uh -huh. and then you can see a lot of functions you can use in asterisk. A function we now need is um, db exists. db exists just checks if family and key exist, uh, uh -huh. um, right. exists. Yep. So we try now to use it in the dial plan. We invent a new extension just for playing around. We love to invent new extensions for something. <laughs> no op database test. Same. Next is we want to go to if we already Yep. talked about go mm -hmm. to if. We want to go to if and we want to check something. If we want to use a function, then it's like a variable. We just put the dollar sign, the curly brackets and say db exists. And then we put in there the parameters. We want to check does pascom James exist? This is our test. Mm -hmm. So this just returns true. Yep. If it is, uh, if, if you can find the family and key, yep. if not, it returns fails. So zero and one is stored mm -hmm. in the variable then. Okay. So we can test it. And if so, we jump around in our dive plan. We say go to 300 priority one. If so, if not, it just continues the dial plan, we hang up. If the entry exists, we do something else. So 300 minus OK. OK, we cannot jump to 300, we jump to 300 OK. No op. James exists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm alive. Yeah. Same. Next. Answer the channel. Same. Next. Playback. Not the monkeys again. Beep. <laughs> okay. Same. Hang up. So what do we expect now? If we call 300 or star 300, then we test the database if family pascom and key chains exist. Uh -huh. We do not care about the value. The value can be OK or fired or hired or I don't know. Yeah. Um, it's not important. We just check if the key and the family exists. If so, 
we jump to James exists, answer, beep, hang up. If not, we just hang up. Yeah. Maybe that works. More verbosity. Dial plan reload. Then uh, we switch to our phones. The database entry does not exist now. Yeah, so it should just hang up, right? It should, just should hang up, yes, right. We can see database test. It Our test returns zero, uh -huh. does not exist, false. Everything which is different to zero is true. Yep. This is false. So it just goes to the next line and hangs up. Uh -huh. So now we try to add our um, database entry. Put passcom. James, okay, but the value does not matter, but yep. okay is a good value. Database show. Passcom James exists. Try it again. Now we got the beep. Yep. Mm -hmm. it, um, the variable is one now because true, because exists, jumps to um, 300 okay, and does the stuff in yeah. 300 OK. So that's how you can use the database for making decisions or finding things out or okay. storing things. Mm -hmm. And there is also a function where you can put a key into the database mm -hmm. from the dial plan. Okay. So not db exists, but db. Yeah. There you can do a put and um, just put something in there, delete uh -huh. something. So you can work with um, the database out of the dial plan. Uh -huh. And that's very interesting and that makes you very, very flexible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even if for our example, which yeah. we want to achieve, yeah. <laughs> the one number. Yeah, but I have to admit, at the end of the last episode, when Matthias uh, and I were discussing this, he had, he had no idea how to do it. He had to check with Moby Dick how it worked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's quite complicated, but um, we'll get there. Yeah, for sure. Good. Thanks cool. for watching. Cheers. Bye.